What is up, YouTube Tool Tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench. Let's go check out what Northern Tool has to offer. All right, fellas, so when I filmed this video, I originally intended it to be one long walkthrough, but there was just too much good stuff and too much stuff I want to show y'all. I think Northern Tool is a great store, and I don't think it gets enough credit. So what we're going to do is in part one here, I'm going to show you all the power tools, shop tools, and a lot of the shop supplies. Then in part two, we'll come back and look at toolboxes and all their hand tools because they got some really cool stuff. But let's go ahead and get started with what they have right up front, and that is their big milwaukee section now this new section is fairly new i think it's only been in northern tool for three or four months at least this dedicated center section they've always had some milwaukee tools i believe but i mean they just have everything you could want even a lot of the specialty tools as you'll see as we kind of keep going through now i don't keep up with northern tool on their sales but they do have an email that goes out probably weekly or so that does show you a lot of their sales but this video is primarily going to just concentrate on what they have to offer, what tools they have, just maybe another option in case you're having trouble finding a specialty tool or a specific tool. Or maybe you've never even heard of Northern Tool, and you might have one in your area and not even know it because you haven't even looked for it. Here you see on the side they had some of their weed eaters or blowers, and then they also have a large selection. You saw when I was coming in and on the side of their packout systems that people seem to love. And here we're going to look at a bunch of their corded tools. Yes, people, they still exist. And corded tools still have a place in the world. When you need something with a lot of power or something that you're going to use for a long time, corded is the way to go, especially with grinders. Especially, look at this big boy 9-inch grinder. I zoomed in. It pulls 15 amps. Yeah, 15 amps. You better have the side handle on when you're using that bad boy. And then right next to it, they got a pretty fair selection of their 12-volt system, which a lot of people love, the Milwaukee 12-volt. I even have thought about getting into it. I'm far from a Milwaukee fanboy, but you gotta give credit where it's due. They are just killing it. And Northern Tool didn't forget about you yellow and black boys out there. They got a pretty good selection of corded and cordless DeWalt tools as well. Not quite as extensive as the Milwaukee section, but still plenty of good stuff in here to pick from. Now, I honestly don't know too much about the current DeWalt line. I haven't bought any DeWalt tools in probably two or three years now. But even back when I was using them, and on a pretty regular basis, I never really had an issue with them. They make a solid tool. But Northern Tool also offers a wide variety of welders and welding supplies, and that's the section I come here for most often. As you can see, they carry the big names, Hobart, Lincoln. They don't have anything by Miller. But they even have their own line of welders. They have clutch welders and plasma cutters. And then they also have Iron Ton, which I don't have a ton of experience with. The Iron Ton brand really kind of seems like their bottom of the barrel. This clutch seems a little bit better quality. If you've got any experience with either brands of these welders, let us know in the comments. Let people know if they're good, bad, in between. They have a wide variety of different welding carts. And even the big boy welders that you can put in the back of a pickup truck. We see those a lot out here in Midland. But the thing I love buying from Northern Tool more than anything are their flat discs. I think they had the best price, $12 for a five or six pack, I can't remember exactly. But their flat discs, way better than the Harbor Freight ones. They last, they're good quality. I love the clutch flat disc. If that's not your thing, they also offer a ton of other varieties. They have the Norton, they have the Diablo. They have any kind of wheel you could imagine that you might want. Flat disc, grinding wheels, cutoff wheels, wire wheels. And like I said before, they offer the Nortons and four and even seven inch flap disc. And they're a little pricey, but people say they last very well. I'm not willing to find out. They also have a ton of other attachments that you can put in your drill. Maybe even a die grinder, but I'd have to check the RPMs. I'm not positive on that. A huge variety of buffing wheels and drill attachments, buffing compounds, polishing compounds. It's, it's crazy the amount of stuff they got in this one section. This is what I come to Northern Tool for. 
the most out of everything. They even have more welding supplies on the other side of the aisle that we'll check out right after we look at these welding tables. I've never bought one. We thought about buying one at work. We just haven't really pulled the trigger, but they seem pretty decent. This is the one, the same one you can get at Harbor Freight. But the other two tables they got here have always intrigued me. I've always really wanted to see how good they really were. So again, if you know, if you got experience with these, let us know in the comments. We got a couple more different styles of uh, the welding carts they have. I mean, there's got to be something in here that, that suits your need. I'm sure they got like seven different styles of welding carts alone. And then we'll make our way to the other side of the aisle where you'll see all their electrodes and their flux core, their other kind of welding wires they got. They got more welding wire than I even know what it's for because, of course, I've only been welding for about a year and I don't do it every day. But it's quite a variety of Hobart goods. They even have their own Hobart wire wheels and grinding wheels. If you're a Hobart guy, this is the place for you. But not only that, they have a lot of different wire brushes. They got the magnetic squares, welding helmets, they got welding jackets. Way better quality than what I've seen at Harbor Freight. If you don't like the full jackets, they've even got the sleeves, the aprons, nice thick leather welding gloves. Whatever price you want, they got it. Now here's something I've got extensive experience with. That larger horizontal bandsaw back there for $1,200. I think I point to it. Yep, that one. We've had it at work for almost eight months, maybe a little bit longer actually. And I love it. It has cut through everything we've asked it to. Whenever I'm having to weld up stands, it has just made every part of that job better and faster. They also have a bunch of presses, which we don't use very often at work, but other jobs may. And again, a variety of sizes of drill presses. They got your big boy floor drill presses. Some seem just like the Harbor Freight ones, especially the smaller benchtop ones I'm about to show you look just like the Harbor Freight 8 inch one. The iron ton one here, I'm pretty sure is the same as the Harbor Freight 8 inch. But you see they also have their clutch 12 inch and a clutch 10 inch, which seem a little bit better quality like most things at Northern Tool than Harbor Freight. They've got their own brand of compressors, which again, I have no experience with. And then they have name brand, that Porter Cable one I used to have. It's loud as hell, but it gets the job done. They have bench grinders, buffers, a Wilton vise. Even there at the bottom, they have a 10 and a 12 inch sliding compound miter saw. And some pretty sturdy looking shop stools with the back, without a back, swivel. As always, many options. A couple different versions of the creepers they have. And another thing I like is they have an entire section of steel tools. Now this is one side of it with some weed eaters, some chainsaws. We're going to look at the generators real quick, which they have a huge selection of. I want to say a larger selection than Harbor Freight, but I'm not too familiar with the Harbor Freight generator scene. But you're about to see as I flip back around, they have even more steel tools on the other side of that little island. And then other than welding supplies, the thing I come here for most often would be drill bits and i love it because they sell every size of drill bits even in singles they have their sets of course which are pretty nice but you see they have these big silver and deeming bits they sell in singles which can be very handy when you just burn up a single bit or when somebody in the shop happens to burn up a single bit they have twist drills brad point drills forstner bits silver and deeming bits cobalt titanium black oxide whatever kind of bit you want hole saws they got. They even have the extra long hex adapters you see there and some carbide burrs. They do have a selection of sawzall blades and circular saw blades but not as much as other stores. Right here were just a couple sales they had going on in the middle of the aisles that I wanted to show y'all real quick. I'm not really ingrained in the Northern Tool sales versus regular price as much as I am like Harbor Freight. They don't play as many games as Harbor Freight does either so there's not as much of a need. But as you can see right now, they have their 12 inch sliding compound miter saw on sale for 240. Is that saw worth it? I can't really say. They have every gauge of extension cord you might need and we do use them at work, they're pretty good. Some work lighting you saw there. They have some belts and pulleys and they even have some tool belts you'll see coming up. Along with some of the plastic small part organizers, great to keep screws and, and small parts in of course. A couple little craftsman sales they had on the end caps of the aisle. This is what really caught my eye though, is these 14 piece screwdriver sets, $15, can't beat that, although these aren't the most comfortable screwdrivers to use, they are made in the USA, lifetime warranty. 
And then on the next end cap, they had some Milwaukee bits on sale. $44 for the Cobalt drill bit set. And I think it was $25, yep, for the titanium coated drill bit sets. And then some Milwaukee clamps that actually used a different mechanism on the clamping part of the handle. Maybe I'll pick one up and go into it. They got a few jacks in the back and some other automotive related stuff. We're just going to go through real quick and show you some of the other oddball items, or not as exciting items, they really sell. A ton of toolboxes, they even have truck toolboxes, I'll show you in the part two of this video. And as you're walking, you see they have the rubber mats, they have a ton of different types of dollies. They even have this huge gantry crane, an overhead crane, that, man, would that come in handy. If you have a larger shop that can fit it, $7.29 doesn't seem like a bad price to me for something that would be that useful. As you can see, I filmed a lot of it because I really liked it. A bunch of furniture dollies. Harbor Freight has these for cheaper, but they don't have as many different sizes. They even have work boots you can pick up here. Now, in closing, I just want to shoot a couple overview shots. You saw they had pressure washers over there. I mean, they have so much stuff, there's no way I can shoot a video on everything. But that's going to kind of end this video. But of course, I'm going to give you just a couple teaser shots just to show you the huge selection of hand tools they have here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when part two comes out next week. And until then, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right there, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace!